Hello everybody, this is the fifth of the live stream episodes presented by the Horse Improvised Music Club in collaboration with Eclectic Art Lab. We are hoping to move back to live performances in the next couple of months, so we'll keep you posted. For tonight, we have got a very exciting lineup of Marilza Gouveia on vocals, a duo of Trevor Taylor and Brian Stiles, that's drums and percussion, and we have a film of Anne Harrod Davis, filmed in 2012 at our original venue, the Horse Pub in Waterloo. This is followed by a solo by Oboist in Cor Anglais, Catherine Ploigers. And then we have the Blackfriars Bridge Ensemble with Adam Bowman, Neil Metcalf, Caroline Crabble, Adrian Northover, Sue Lynch, and Daniel Thompson. And the final part of the evening is in memory of Carol Finer, who sadly died earlier this year. It is her solo performance from the Horse Improvised Music Club last December and is preceded by a short introduction by Hutch de Mouplier, who has conducted an interview with Carol. And you can listen to the full interview. If you look in front of you, there is a link on the screen. If you're interested in supporting us and the artists involved, you can go to the link on the screen in front of you where you can buy a ticket and you can name your price. Otherwise, check out the Horse Band Camp on www.thehorseimprovisedmusicclub.bandcamp.com And this will be presented by Adam Bowman. Welcome everyone to this, the September edition of Eclectic Horse virtual performances by a variety of improvisers and artists, filmmakers, etc. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. 
That was of archival footage of Amhara Davis on the violin from the original horse pub on the 11th of September 2012. And now we have Catherine Ploigas on solo oak bow and coron and she's going to play right now. Lynch, 
Anna Frank and Tex and Daniel Thompson guitar. And this was recorded on the 26th of July, 2020. <laughs>
Durham, Tractors, Slam, Willoughby, Hung, Whirl, Sweat, Nature, Colony, Itself, Warmth, Never, Domestic Times One. Independent Next Increased Desolate Administrative <laughs> Servants Allegra I'm loving this, you know, Cora Almost Idea Describe Women, trouble, athlete, decorative, other, examination, speech, needle, ethical. Sounds Alvin. Orgerson, only Orgerson. had a number of very fine half packs, increased trousers, Lemesier styles, screen ahead, daily, specifically Mergo.
perfect trio being Martian bubbles. Hambledon. Wiggle into Clydo, highly dribbling rat positively another felt crying authority. Face inconvenience. Illustration. Unlike Julian. Frightfully. For your young happen chair. Brilliant. By Victor Parker, trifling. Believe, grace, habitable, gatehouse, during happy. Hello, this is the Improviser Podcast, and what is to follow is an excerpt from a longer conversation I had with Carol Finer, where we also listened to music that she'd previously performed. The Improviser Podcast is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Thanks for listening. What was happening at the same time as we were doing the class was that Cornelius was writing uh, The Great Learning, um, and the great learning required a lot of people. And so when he had got a, a paragraph of the great learning done, he would try it out on us, the experimental music class. But it wasn't enough. He had to have a lot more people. And that was when the Scratch Orchestra came into being, because he put an advertisement in the Musical Times or somewhere or other and said, would you come and meet anyone who's interested in joining a scratch orchestra uh, to perform a large work. And then all these people came from nowhere and everywhere and up to 100 members at any one time. And were they a mixture of musicians and yes, artists? Yes, they were just the same as the experimental music class right. uh, where they would just come from anywhere and not necessarily... Uh, musicians, Hugh Shrapnel, there's another of the real musicians. <laughs> and what, what year was this? <laughs> the Scratch Orchestra probably started in 1968 or 9. Right. And then, you see, we did start performing because once we were the Scratch Orchestra, um, that's what we did. We, we The first year we did probably, I don't know if that was 1969 when we started performing, but we did five or six town hall concerts, Hampstead Town Hall, Chelsea Town Hall. Uh, we we found these town halls and performed what? in them. Why, why town halls? Did I don't know, they happen? were just a nice big space yeah. and they probably didn't cost much in those days. Um, I don't know how we ever got any money. I think 
Corps used to get money out of people like the Arts Council. Not a lot, but sometimes he would get money. Um, because the concerts never paid for themselves. <laughs> Um, but people did come to see them. Um, I think there might have been more people in the orchestra <laughs> than there were audience. Right. And sometimes the audience didn't stay. They would stomp off in disgust. Um, we did a concert at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, and it was called Beethoven Today. Um, and there we were on the stage, different people in different groups doing all manner of terrible things to Beethoven. Uh, wonderful things, I should say. And then I'd certainly somebody in one of the first rows stomped off okay. in a fury. And it wasn't his fault, because Beethoven today, what, what could that mean? Mm. It might have meant anything. So, uh, but that, I think there was quite a few people who did stay to that concert. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 